there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be having a look at and trying out this 3D embossing folder that comes with stencils, coordinating stencils. This one is called the Lovely Roses one. There are several of these out, uh, I think there might be four or five different um, versions or different kind of designs that they have already. So it comes with this gorgeous big embossing folder there in the purple and then the two stencils down the bottom to create a card front. Now I purchased this because I really love this idea and I love the idea of the kind of quick coloring, but you will see more videos on this because if you have watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I wouldn't choose to invest in a product that I can really only use in one way. The products that I choose need to be really versatile and I can use them in lots of different ways and with lots of different mediums and things. So yeah, my plan is to kind of see how I can go about this. But today's mission is just to use it pretty much as intended. And so all I've done here, this is a 5x7 embossing folder and so I have run through a piece of paper. Now my lighting kind of makes it hard to see the embossing but it does give a beautiful deep embossing pattern. Um, that's just the way that lighting goes. I'm afraid I film pretty much at night time um, so it can be hard to give you guys a really nice clean view without taking away some of that uh, finer detail for embossing. It often doesn't show up on camera really well. But here I'm placing down the stencil with the widest gaps and when I put it down I'm just going to add a little bit of low tech tape. This is the mint uh, low tech tape and this is my favorite and I had thought that I would kind of need to mask off the roses if I did them first. And I kind of was like, oh, this a little bit defeats the purpose. It makes it not quite so easy to uh, get the colors that you want. But actually, I learn along the way that I don't need to do this. Now, I'm using a mixture of colors here because I am going with some yellowy orangey roses. I really do love a good yellow rose. And I'm going to use some squeezed lemonade, which is the lightest yellow, some mustard seed, which is a medium yellow, and then some spiced marmalade, which is really an orange. Now this is just the first layer of stenciling, remember? So I'm pretty much just coating all of my three big roses there in the squeeze lemonade and then just using a little bit of the mustard seed, the mid yellow, in the center of the roses. Now I'm going to pull off this masking uh, little paper here that I did and again I was like oh wow this is going to be a bit of a process if I have to do this but honestly I learned along the way and I often don't like a really kind of messy look on my cards. I like quite a clean look. But actually the results of this were beautiful without having to do any more masking. So I'm going to do the mowed lawn for the base layer of all of my uh, greens, the stems and the leaves themselves and things. If you wanted to, you could definitely bring in some browns and different colors for the stems, but I was really just going pretty simple here to see what kind of effect this would give off. Now, when I lift this up, I, yeah, I quite like it. I mean, it's good. It's nice to have that gorgeous embossing raised up and all the flowers um, colored. I, I really did like that effect. And then once I came to add the second stencil on top, it's really easy to line up. It's super, super simple. There's kind of <laughs> not too much guessing about it, which is something that I love. And I'm going to use the Rustic Wilderness, which is just a darker green color. And bear in mind that you could use lots of different mediums through this and kind of use lots of different layers, which I hope to explore a little bit in some more videos. As I said, I want to get value for money, so I'm going to use this as intended today and then change it up so there'll be some more videos coming as well. Now, I am going to just be a little bit careful. I am using finger dobbers here, so that makes life much, much easier rather than using like a full mini ink blending tool or anything. Now here I'm just coming along with a paper towel and wiping off the excess ink of the green on top of the stencil because now I'm going to use some of the orange to go on top of the roses and I didn't want to get that contaminated. So it's a good idea to wipe it down with just a, a dry cloth in between, you using the greens um, for the greenery and then choosing your rose colour. So here there is no skill, no rhyme or reason, I am just literally popping the colour right down through the stencil and then when I come to take this off I just remove those couple of little bits of low tech tape and then here is the result and I'm pretty happy with this. I really think for how simple this is 
it looks pretty good. I was pretty happy with the result. And of course, there is so much more that you could do with the background. I chose to keep it a really nice, plain, simple white. This is a gorgeous card, and you'll be able to see all of that lovely embossing in real life. I know it's a little bit hard, but if I kind of shadow here with my hand, block the shadow a little bit, you can see that embossing in the background. But lots of different options about um, even perhaps starting on a light colored piece of paper and then building up color in the roses and the stems from there and then that way you would have kind of a colored background or you could do like a soft wash in the background so anyhow <laughs> lots of fun different options now my piece of paper was a little bit too big to start off with anyway so I'm just trimming it down a little bit of course you could trim this down to any size that you wanted as well then just because I had done the embossing, I thought uh, I wouldn't get a very good layer around the outside if I do my trick of using low-tech tape and then just using ink for the edges. So I actually did go with a whole other piece of cardstock today and I used the mustard seed and you won't see the center, that's why I kind of blotched off the ink in the center. Then I'm going to carry on with creating a sentiment. This is the Curly Greetings stamp set and I'm going to use some Lawn Fawn Vellum. This is the one that I always use if I'm going to be doing heat embossing because it seems to hold up to heat really well. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder pouch which is a really good idea if you are doing embossing. It takes away some of that extra static that we don't want the embossing powder to stick to. And I'm going to make this a congratulations card. This could be a wedding card, this could be a birthday card, this could be a get well soon card, a thinking of you card, this could be a whole lot. I mean really just depending on which colours you choose for uh, the roses and things, this could definitely go with so many occasions. So I'm adding some super fine white embossing powder on top and then I'm going to melt this with my heat gun. I do keep my heat gun moving around quite a lot when I am embossing onto vellum for obvious reasons. If you keep it there long enough, it will melt. <laughs> but uh, the Lawn Fawn vellum seems to hold up really well when I am heat embossing on it. I'm using my trimmer just to cut a nice strip so this will go across the front of the card. I don't want to detract from how gorgeous this design is on the front. I want it mainly to be about that, otherwise I probably would have stamped this in a grey or a black on the front, but honestly I just want it to kind of be down the bottom there and not take away too much from this gorgeous image that we have created. So I bend the rest of the vellum around the sides and that lets me know where I need to put the tape on it. I always use some double-sided tape when I am adhering vellum. I just feel like it adheres better than using liquid glue, but you can definitely give either one a bit of a go. Also, I will, um, if you are after any of the products that I have used in today's video, I do get lots and lots of emails asking about products. However, they will all be linked down in the description box below. If I can't find them or they're not available anymore, I do, I always apologize. I know it's frustrating, but I will link to the ones that I can find. And these just came out recently, so they should be uh, in stock and there should be plenty of them. And there are, of course, different designs as well that are available. I just really like these roses and I think that I can do some other things with them. As I said, I want my products to be really versatile, so I'm going to have fun creating with these. And I have made this a larger card, but of course you could cut this down to be definitely a smaller card. It ends up being a 5 by 7 And I've got that gorgeous little yellow border there, which really is just brings out the gorgeous uh, yellow and orange of the flowers. I am using a little gel pen, a white gel pen, to add a few little details. This is definitely something you can skip if you want to. It's just fun to kind of puddle around and pop in these extra little things. And then after this, there is just one more little thing that I am going to do. You could also end up popping some little nuvo drops and things in the background, but honestly, the embossing, I didn't want to kind of take over from the little bit of embossing that is in the background as well. But I'm going to add in some clear glitter pen. This is the scrapbook.com glitter pen. This is my favorite one. And I am just going over all of the raised portions of the rose. Now, I know, as I said, it's a little bit hard to pick up all of that dimension on camera, but this does create gorgeous dimension and this is a very easy product to use. I like that I didn't have to work to line up the stencils or kind of figure out which way everything goes. It's very straightforward, it's a fast process and it gives gorgeous results. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out a little bit more. Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys have any of these and if you have given them a go and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. See ya, bye!
Thank you.